When choosing a transactional partner, you should ask questions from that partner of what, how they handle certain events. One, what's their sole focus? At PCI, we do 100% of the mail is transactional. There's many companies out there that do 50% direct mail or marketing mail and 50% transactional. While that might be great, they don't have that sole focus of 100% of the mail that we do is transactional mail. It's exactly the mail that you're looking forward to. I think that's very, very important. Two, what type of technology that they use to complete the process? Here at PCI, we have a full chain of custody. So we track that record from the time that you transmit the record all the way through the print process, insertion process, to the mail process, and really into mail stream. And how do we do that? We'll require our clients to add a, a barcode onto every sheet of paper that we print. Then we use intelligent insertion using a mail run data file or MRDF file, or basically an index of what's supposed to be in that mailing to make sure the proper sheets go into the envelope. And then we track that envelope in the mail stream. So your team has the confidence of a full chain of custody throughout the process, which is very, very important. The other thing is how do we report that back to you? Make sure your vendor has an online portal that report that back. We use a product called Track PCI that's been in place for about 25 years that your team can look online and see basically where your job is in the stream, in the process at all times, all the way to completion of that job. Security compliance is very, very big in, in transactional mail. One is your partner needs to have the certifications. We're SOC 1, SOC 2, HIPAA, High Trust, PCI DSS, and FISMA, which is federal government. Now, very, very difficult to get, to obtain, and to keep them. It's really more difficult to maintain that. We have a dedicated compliance team that handles that. Their sole responsibility is to handle security compliance for everything that's going on. It's a very, very big job, and it's very, very important to your process to make sure your company, your vendor, is able to maintain their compliances. An important component of your transactional mail vendor is the ability to have dynamically print what you want done. We utilize full color inkjet devices and what's called a white paper factory. White paper in, your dreams out. We have perforators on every printer so we can perforate the first page for a payment coupon, let's call it, and not perf all the other pages. Or we can add what's called an insert that we can perforate the insert of the last sheet instead of putting inserts in. That allows us to customize that package to meet the needs of that individual 100%. This actually increases customer engagement. Dynamic printing, full color inkjet, white paper factory is the key to that. Redundancy. Well, in our world, redundancy is everything. Make sure your vendor has multiple facilities. Here at PCI, we have two facilities. We have one in Fort Mill and one in Dallas, Texas. Okay, it's very, very important with the world going on right now, with weather events going on, electrical events going on, or quite frankly, during the COVID times. If a facility gets taken out by a pandemic like COVID and you can't do work in it because half the workers are out, your vendor needs to be able to dynamically move that work to the other facility. And it's important that you ask them, can you dynamically move the work? We use the same process in Fort Mill that we do in Dallas. We load balance our work every single day. Very, very important. Some companies in the industry, while they might have multiple facilities, they can't move work from one facility to the other. So if something happens in that one facility, they can't easily move that work to the other facility to get your work done. Maintenance of SLAs is critical. Redundancy helps you get there. Compliance. So security and compliance goes hand in hand. You can't have security without compliance. You can't have compliance without security. But really, what is security? Security breaks down to two things. Physical security, maintaining your physical security on your building or your premises, and data security. Let's look at physical security first. So we employ closed circuit TVs that monitor not only all the entrances and exits of all the buildings, but actually has a camera on every single production device inside the facility. This allows us to track down and to determine if an error happens, what happens. Very, very important if we make a mistake that we can pin that mistake down to it's only one or two pieces of mail rather than a systematic process error. If our clients report an error to us, that error happened usually a couple days to a couple months behind. We can go down and we can look at our cameras and verify 
that we had the piece, it was an operator error, which unfortunately still happens. Can't be perfect, but very good, but nobody can be perfect, to a process error. If you have a process error that affects the whole job, 7,000 pieces went out wrong, we have a big problem. But using our cameras, we're able to pinpoint that issue, that those pieces were inserted at such and such a time, 2 a.m. in the morning on a Tuesday night. We're able to go to the video camera and see exactly what the operator did, and then see what the issue was. We then can confirm that that error happened to one or two pieces rather than a systematic problem in the whole job. It's very, very critical. So physical security is, yes, the building is secure. Yes, we have cameras, but it helps to validate what we did in the process. Now, data security. Now, we already have security compliances, but data security is very, very important. So we reside in an encrypted data at rest environment. So all your files come into a DMZ that's outside. We then take that DMZ and we bring it into our environment, the PCI environment through firewalls. Once inside the environment, we run in what's called an encrypted data at rest environment, where that data is encrypted and it's only unencrypted for the milliseconds or seconds that you use to, to process that record. Once that record's processed, it goes back to being encrypted again. 